Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought tonight I'd do a tutorial on how to do a bit of a 60s faded sort of look with your photograph. So if you're interested in how to achieve that effect, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a solid color. And that's just in the adjustments down there. So I'm going to choose kind of like a dark blue. Uh, I did recently do a tutorial on how to get retro tones with your photos. So um, generally the best way to do it is with a blue and yellow solid color because um, once you use the blending modes on those colors they will tend to create a bit of a retro effect so I'm going to choose a kind of a faded dark blue that's pretty good okay and I'm going to choose this one to be lighten I'm going to move that down to about 50% That'll do. Okay, and the next color that I'm going to bring up is going to be more of a yellow toned color. So I think I'm going to make it sort of a coolish green yellow. That'll do. And I'm going to change that one to multiply and I'm going to move that right down to probably about 20%. Do. And now I'm going to bring up curves and I'm going to kind of lighten the shadows in the photograph to make it kind of look more faded. And I'm going to bring down the highlights as well. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the red channel and just move it up slightly. Then move on to the green and I'm going to bring this up here so we get more of the greens in the shadows. And I'm going to bring this down slightly so we get more of the pinks in the highlights. Okay. that's good and then the blue channel and just gonna bring that up slightly that'll do all right and then I'm gonna get a green color so probably a dark green let's see probably around there that's good and then I'm going to switch this one to lighten and it will kind of help with giving it more of a faded look as well and an older look and I'm going to bring that down to about 40% and then I'm going to bring the levels up and bring the highlights up just a bit and I I think I might just use a selective color as well and I'm going to bring out the skin tone a little bit more in the reds because usually in 60s photographs and 70s photographs they tend to have the skin quite saturated still so I'm just going to bring them up a little bit okay and I think I might just up the blue a little bit more That's pretty good there. Okay, now I'm just going to do some tweaking. So I'm going to go back and work a little bit more, I think on the curves layer. I'm just going to go to the green channel and bring these colors up just a bit more. So just a bit more like that. And the green, I think I'm going to bring down a little bit as well, just a bit, to around 25. And the blue, I think I might bring that up even further. And the yellow. Sometimes this is the hardest part, just getting everything kind of so it fits. And I might just go into the red channel and 
bring it up a little bit here. And the blue channel I'm just going to bring up even more. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit on that side. Okay, and just to finish it off, I'm going to add a grain. So I'm just going to duplicate the background layer. And I'm going to go filter, noise, add noise. So probably, yeah, around that amount's fine, 11.86. And then I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and stick to about a radius of 1. Okay, so as you can see, that's created a bit of a grain, and I'm just going to bring the opacity down to about 60% on that one. And I'm just going to do a before and after, as soon as I can find my history tab. And let's see. So this was the original, and that's what it looks like now. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully have some more of these videos up very soon. Thanks very much again and I'll see you next time.